Horton. Okay, so we have two sentences that are virtually identical. The only difference is one is ending with noda, and the other one is kotoda. So because of this, these express two very different things. This right here, this part is about the same. It is magic is decreasing. With hara ga hetteru no da, it, uh, sorry, hara stomach. <laughs> I'm I'm getting hungry. Hara ga hetteru no da. Uh, are you be are you would be sorry no, I'm adding a question there is um basically right now are you hungry basically right now you are hungry right now hungry is kind of what it's saying in a specific occasion you feel hunger for example someone might be like oh my stomach hurts why is it hurting and they're like oh yeah it's because you're hungry might be a way that this could show up mm -hmm. in Japanese the other one is more like a generic statement of when your stomach hurts. That means you're hungry into a more generic statement saying whenever you're hungry, that is, that's what it is. It's all this, this, all the times this occurs in general. So in general, when you're hungry, your stomach might hurt versus right now, my stomach's hurting. It's probably because you're hungry. So this right here is one occasion. Koto is multiple occasions. Um, do you I... know what EU means? EU to say, yes, to, to speak. Say. Um, right now, I'm going to start you on learning how to read this word. It ends with Zol. You remember what this word was? Kozol. Kozol, which what does it mean? Boy, little boy, brat, little boy, brat, kid. Awesome. So if I were to say, I said, or they said, hey, boy, what particle would I put right here? Do you know? Ga. That's a good guess. You actually would say to, oh. which is the quotation particle. It's our first time seeing that quotation particle, which we're actually not seeing in the last line. But I wanted like to introduce it <laughs> in an in official. Because you can see, I put this in quotation marks. So we're doing a correct quotation. I um, if there weren't quotation marks, um, in some occasions, uh, you, you would still use, to, you normally would still use to because there's insinuated quotation marks. It doesn't have to be literal quotation marks with to, it can just be, it can be context-based, but you can have all to mean like to say about, if you have like a very vague topic in here. So it'd be like said things about earth or something, it'd be tkyo ita or something, uh, which Sounds weird. So maybe they don't use that that rule with you. They definitely use that rule with omo. Uh, but yeah, in general, if you go, you're gonna see toyu is kind of your um toyu toyu toita. Okay, so this to we're seeing here is not toyu. I just was bringing it up because we're gonna be seeing toyu later on in the book. This to is the cause and event event to. So right after the previous sentence occurs, this happens. So the previous sentence, I believe, was the rock getting really heavy, maybe. Some, something like that. Something happened. And right after that, the next thing occurs. Which, can you read it for me? Hi. To, chisan ga ita. Hara ga hette iru no de wa nai ka. Meaning, uh, right after mm, the jisa, um, ara te iru no de wa nai ka. Uh, the jisa say, um, no de wa nai. Are you not hungry? Yeah, almost like, are you not hungry? Are you not getting hungry? Yeah, exactly. Are you not getting hungry? So this no is in here simply because it is, you know, acting as a breather. So these two don't get cooties on each other. Because this is like da, right? Doesn't like the touch verbs. And it's turned into dewanaika. To make it into some kind of like, Hi. aren't you? Type of thing. Okay. So now we're doing a kanji Hi. check. See if you remember this hard boy. Yeah, it does start with Sue. 
Nice. Sharp. And how about this guy? Chikaratsuzoi koeda. Chikaduyoi koeda. Nice. And this guy? Madoseki? Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Suzu. Suzuita. Yep. Uh, Suzuita. Uh, how about this guy? It's our last one on this page. Kozo. Hi, Kozo. Nice. And we just read another paragraph. Woo. Um, next hey. is Kedo. Do you know what Kedo means? Kedo. Only, Ked only this. Ah, uh, something very similar says that, but that's not Kedo. That's um, Dake. Dake. I'm sorry. Dake is only Kedo is however. Yes, however, but basically the exact same as that ga we've seen. Um, ga I, I would say is the more polite than Kedo. Like if you're like, hmm, I'm writing an essay. Which one should I use? Use ga if you have to pick. But in general, everybody's going to use all of them because we want to have flavor in our works. Um, Quickly. Yes. This is a little bit different from no need. Yes. Um, so no need means even though. Even though. It does not mean but. They're kind of different words. There are similar areas in our brain, but you use them in very different ways. So kerido is kind of like a conjunction between sentences to kind of like bring up a new subject almost. So you'd be like, but you'd be like, I want to go to the park, but I have something to do. Noni is more whiny. Oh, I wanted to go to the park. Even though I want to go to the park, I have something to do. So noni is more like a complaint, I would guess, than kerido is more like a statement. I guess you could think. Like, I guess they're mm. similar, but... Even in English, as you can see, we have different words, even though versus but and however. But it's is this similar? I think these pairs are similar to kara and mon, as in mono, that come at the end of a, a clause. Hi. Was right. Uh, kara yeah. is because. Yep. Mono is also because, but it had a more of a whiny um, regret kind of feel to it isn't it right i i don't think mono you know how how I characters it... say mon at the end oh mon yes yes that that is a cause mon. yes yes like mon. the contraction of mono yeah well it's not mono because people don't end mono and sentences to mean because there's mono no oh. uh mono no, but, which, which is, is mon, like right Maybe I don't. I don't know what mono is a construction of, but I'm saying people don't say mono mm. at the end of a sentence to mean because, um, but mon is a way to say because. I would say this is childish, so I guess it could be whiny. Uh, it's definitely not in Totoro. I think it's just kind of like the word "cuz" in English, like a kind of like a shortening mm. because that's a little bit like childish. That that would be my hypothesis. I could I could be wrong. But yeah, I, I've never heard mono I see. Uh, on a own on a sentence. Uh, meaning but, because, uh, yes. But yeah, this is but, or however. You also see dakedo, kedo, and kedo are all the exact same word. Um, our next word is Hi. unazuku, which means to nod. Unazuku. Unazuku. Luckily, this book does not write in a kanji, so you don't need to know this kanji. Unazuku. Um, our next word is yojin, which is the ha to is precaution. Yojin. It is the use of Yo. and heart, useful heart. Yojin. Funnily enough, um, yojinbo is bodyguard, and that is use heart stick. Yojinbo. Yojinbo. Bodyguard. So that's the weird. movie. Yojinbo. 
That sounds familiar. Well, Yojinbo shows up in a lot of things. So, like, for me, Yojinbo pops up a lot in Natsume Yojinsho, because uh, Nyanko Sensei is the main character, is Yojinbo. <laughs> So that's where I see a lot. It just means bodyguard. But it's also so yoshin is precaution, precaution, and bo is stick. So what does yoshin mean? Precaution. Nice precaution. Um, what does unazuku mean? Unazuku to nod. Yeah, and what's that in te form? Unazuide. Yeah, ite. Nice. Unazuite. Perfect. Unazute. Okay. Read this sentence for me. Edo Orewa Unazuita. Hi. What is Yep. I nodded. Yep, but I nodded. Kedo orewa unazuita. Normally, if the front of the sentence is actually going to be um da kedo, which is just kind of adding da in right. front of it, that it's literally that same particle. Um, but for our book, we're seeing kedo because it's going at the end of the sentence. But I just quick little example sentence. Um, what does yojin mean again? Right. Yojin is precaution. Perfect. Um, so this wa right here is not like it's it's not like incorrect Japanese, but it's like weird Japanese. So I was like, eh, I'm not gonna teach it. Basically, in the middle of te form, you can stick in wa to make this right here, you know, very dramatic. It's the topic marker wa, not the subject. So it's just saying, This is my topic. Um, but if you take this out, yeah, hit they do. The sentence is the mm. same, right? Um, the wa is just here to basically underline that. So you don't see this very often. So Hi. basically just ignore it. So yeah, let's go read our next two lines. Ma hette wa iru kedo. Ore wa yo shin shinakara unazuita. Nakara, well, I am. Yep. Unazuita nodded. While I am preparing. Yeah, while I'm being, or being um, precautious. Precautious, yes. While I'm being precautious, cautious, I nodded. Yes. Um, and what did the character think uh, before so, that? Suhete wa iru kero. Even though I was hungry. Yeah, well, specifically it says, um, well, this is not even though. Uh, that'd be no knee. Uh, uh, sorry. Is... Um, I was hungry. However, yes, dot, I dot, nodded. Dot. I I was I nodded. I prepare. I I cautiously nodded. Exactly. That's what he's trying to convey. Yep. So a lot yeah. of times sentences will end with kedo to kind of make the sentence not as aggressive. So this is just kind of showing his slight reluctance in the situation. Well, I I am hungry. So in English, we would mostly use our tone to um describe that kiddo right there. Perfect. Hi. Um, do you know what shokuji means? Shokuji. Um, it's a meal. The, yeah, it's one of the many ways to say meal in Japanese. Shokuji. Um, do is a really hard word to translate for um native speakers because it basically it means what. It also means why, and it also means how. It means all of these. And whichever meaning it gets is dependent by context, basically. Normally, does it whatever also for... mean what kind of? Yes, it does mean that. What kind of? Um, it, it, it's basically a kind of like a weird generic um, question word that, as you learn, you'll see it a lot in a lot of um, different ways. So... Um, do you remember how this started with? It ends with G. Shoku. Yep, shokuji. Perfect. So right here, I have the word shokuji wa dou datta, which is literally, how was your meal? So in this context, dou is how. Shokuji wa dou datta. But literally it says, your meal? 
question mark spell it in what what about your meal do um yeah we could literally contract it to just shokichi wa do you can say that yes how was your meal you can um okay uh so this right here you get jagaimo is um this is hot water like steam and this is potato so hot potato in english is what this is called i think hot potato um, but it's steamed potato in um japanese you get jagaimo um i'm not going to like force you to remember what the food names are if you don't know just say food whenever you hit a food when translating uh right. so can you read this for me yuge jagaimo wa dou da so this is basically saying how about uh hot potatoes what do you think about hot potatoes um so contextually it might be what's your opinion on them or it could be maybe we should go out to eat hot potatoes does this sound like a good idea but it's really just i have a question to you about hot potatoes and then you kind of fill in what is the question based off of how hmm. about hot potatoes um so this That's started good. with yeah well, I was going to say, it's interesting that with that doll, I can turn a sentence into a question without using ka. Yes. Uh, so in Japanese, in short form, in general, you actually don't use ka for questions. So if this was a longer question, it'd be do desu ka. You would have ka there in um, the acquaintance level of Japanese. So ka only really shows up in um, short form in very specific occasions. Uh, mostly the show like emotion. It's a little bit dramatic to add that ka there. So almost always in short form Japanese, you're not going to see that ka at the end of the sentence. Mm. Hi. So what's this word? Starts with shoku and ends with what? Chi. Yep, shokuji. Nice. Our next word is yaru, which means to do, yaru, and it is an u verb. So Hi. now we're looking at volational form. So volational form, a lot of times it's taught to us to mean like, let's do it, which in English sounds like I'm inviting someone to do something. That's not what it really means in Japanese. It basically means you've made a plan and you're like, okay, I'm going to do it now. This is uh, what it means. It's like the volunteering is, is probably where that volational comes from, to volunteer form. I volunteer as tribute. Um, anyway, the way you make it is that you drop the final U sound and you add O. So modoru becomes modoro. So how would you change yaru to do into let's do it or I'll do it? Yaro. Yep. Yaro. So in mm. Japanese, I told you yaru means to do it. Contextually, yaru can also mean to do something for somebody else in a kind of almost like rude way. Kind of like um, if you're going to do something for your pet almost is yaru. So if you do something for your pet, you're going to end the sentence with yaro. So I'll do this for you. But this is this is rude. Uh, we could of. have used shiro, right? We just choose not to. Uh, you can use shiro. Uh, the difference is that shiro does not insinuate you're doing something for somebody. That just means you do it in this context. So uh, contextually, it'd be weird to use yaro because he's using yaro rather than ageru. Uh, ageru, ageyo. So uh, it's either going to be ageyo or ageru. For this, this is to do something for somebody. Um, ageyo would be more normal toward another human being. And yaro is more like, I am above you, is what this mm. person is saying. Um, anyway, have you ever heard gochisou sama deshita in Japanese? Gochisou sama des. Gochisou yeah. sama. Like um, yes, meaning yeah. right before they eat, they say this phrase. Yes, they do. That is actually the 
a humble form of saying to eat, I believe. It, it basically is like, let's feast. So it's like the word to feast. So over here it says, uh, can you read this word for me first? Shokujiyo. Yep. Shokujiyo gochi so shite yaro. It's literally him saying, I shall be, be I shall give you a feast. Is what he's saying. I shall allow you to feast on a meal. I'll mm. I allow take you out you to, yes, to a buffet. To a buffet. And the yero is basically saying, you are below me. And probably the same with Gochiso. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's just, because he, he's talking to his street rat, right? And he's like a well-to-do magician. <laughs> oh, so our next word is this. Do you happen to recognize it? Niku. Niku. Niku is one of those kanji you have to learn for the JLPT. So I was like, I'll throw oh, that in there. This lesson make me hungry. <laughs> so many food. <laughs> So our next <laughs> meal is buta no aburi niku, which buta is pig. So we're talking about pork here. And aburi is like boiled or brine or whatever, cooked cook, cook, cook pig meat. So I just got a random picture of cooked pig meat, meat over here. Mm, uh, probably aburi. not in this well, but yeah. Aburi is just like cooked. <laughs> has a little oily Very feeling, yucky but... sauce. Cool grill on a hot flame hi uh can you read the sentence for me niku wa dou da what does that mean uh how about meat exactly how about meat our next word is chikeru which is actually a do verb nice um this means to add on to and it can be literally sticking something onto something else, or it can be like to add on to um, an order, for example. To get it, to add on. To get it. So, to get it. to, so many uses. I think I said there was like three, other than being the use for quoting or for after something else happens. To can also mean and. So, if you see a noun and a noun, with to in between it, it's meaning and. Give me a favor and read the sentence for me. Pai to niku wo tsukeru ka. Perfect. So this ka doesn't have to be in here. You can just say pai to niku wo tsukeru, which is just will pai and meat be added. The ka is making it more like he's almost like rhetorically asking this, like, oh, how about I? Add some meat and pie, kind of almost. So the ka is a little bit, I said, adds a little bit of like emotion in here, a little bit rhetorical question in this specific context. It's kind of like, hmm, how about this? There okay. is. Hi. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I was going to say, in order for this to be a, a question, there's need to be an intonation at the root, right? Yes. Tsukeru, as exactly. In, attach? Yep. Come yeah. With. So yeah, I I simulate that with the question mark. But yes, to be a question, you need to have the rising intonation, just like in English. Okay, so hey. now you get to go read your last line of the day. What does the old man say? Shokuji o gochiso shite yaro, uta no aburi. Niku wa dou da? You get jagai mo to pai mo tsukeru ka? He said, um, the meal, uh, oh, he say, I will give you, oh, I will do for you a a feast of a meal um and then he described it he say uh buta no upari niku meaning uh grilled pork meat or some marinated pork meat <laughs> something yeah uh how about it and he say you get jagaimo 
uh, steamed uh, potato and also pie included. Huh. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> yep. So I shall, I will give you a feast to feast up, uh, a meal to feast upon. How about meat specifically of the pork, broiled pork type of thing? Shall I also add pie and hot potatoes? Don't go right. with the suspicious man. I could just don't follow them for the candy. I just imagine Khan. I just imagine Khan at that moment. 